today we're going to squash peppers. Hi, welcome to Tina Cooks. Today we're going to be cooking spaghetti squash. I never cooked spaghetti squash before, but my niece says it's great. Let's go cook it up. Okay, we're going to take this paper off. I'm not too keen on cooking paper. Um, those were the directions that I read before I started to cook this. Um, I've set the oven, preheat the oven at 400 degrees. It says it's going to cook 45 minutes. I'm not going to cook it all the way. I'm going to cook it about maybe 20 minutes, okay, because I want to make it with some nice stuffed roasted peppers. Okay, so <clears throat> this is a hard squash. <laughs> there we go. We're going to just keep cutting this through. If I can get it through. Man. She didn't tell me that it was this hard to cut. There we go. Okay, we're gonna peel out our seeds because it says to peel out the seeds. I'm not really a squash eater. I think that's why I've never really tried it. But I'm game, you know. I always tell people try different things, try new things. We'll see how the squash comes out. We're going to a party today, so I want to be careful of what I'm eating. So I always try, I always try to bring something that is gonna that I can eat and I don't have to worry too much about. This squash is good as far as um, a light meal. We're gonna do our peppers with some ground chicken. I'll show you how we're going to do that later. All right, now, first thing I'm going to do, because I don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan, okay? So, I'm going to spray the pan with Pam, like that. I'm going to drizzle a little olive oil. This, the direction said to put butter in here. I, I want to stay away from the butter. I'm going to use a little olive oil that in there like this and I am going to season it because I want it to taste like something because I did naturally call my mother and say ma how is spaghetti squash she said it's very boring <laughs> so we're gonna have to make it unboring and I'm gonna be honest with you if I decide I don't like the squash you're gonna know it <laughs> all righty now this has to go in the oven and I'm going to have it cook about 20 minutes then I'm going to see if I can get it to come out like spaghetti because like I said it's going to have to roast with the peppers. So let's put this in the oven. The oven's at 400 and we'll be back in 20 minutes. We're going to start our stuffing with a little bit of celery. Now this stuffing I want to make a little bit different. It's for the peppers. We're going to make stuffed peppers with our uh, spaghetti squash. I'm going to have some onions. Okay. I want them, I want them diced thin, so I'm going to, so I don't want them to be big pieces. Alrighty. And we're going to add a big clove of garlic. Okay, I'm just going to when I'm going to roast something or cook it a long time, I mince my garlic. Alrighty. Now the next step we're going to do is we're going to put a little oil in our pan. We're going to get these vegetables going. Okay. Now where I'm making a stuffed pepper um, stuffing, what I want to do is add some peppers. I'm going to use some colored ones too to give the dish a little bit of color with the yellow squash and you know it'll be pretty and that's what we want. 
is just because we're trying to eat low calorie doesn't mean we have to, it has to look low calorie. We'll get a little piece of yellow. Now the rest of these tops, sometimes I just roast right in with the um, with the um, vegetables that I put them in with the summer squash. Those we'll put aside. And I am going to take one at a time because we don't want to chop off our fingers. That ain't too cool. Drop that piece, it ain't going in. Although my floors are impeccably clean. <laughs> eh, well, there's another one. That's because I'm rushing. Okay, you gotta watch this. We don't want anything to get too dark on us, so we'll swirl that around. And put in our peppers. Oh, yeah, pretty. See that? Already it's pretty. I'll take the heat down a little. Oh, why don't we move this? Because I get too noisy. Alrighty. Now I'm going to put in what I'm going to do. Wait, I'm going to season first. We've got to season first the vegetables. Alrighty. Take off all my covers and stuff. So season my garlic's going. Take this off. Little salt. Whenever you feel your food's getting away from you, pull it off the stove. It instantly stops. It still cooks a little bit, but at least you won't lose it. Because sometimes food gets away from you. All right, now see, that's already pretty. I'm just going to take that off the bottom before it does any more damage. That'll actually add to the flavor. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grind some chicken fresh. This is my, uh, my adapter for my um, process. Oh, you got to plug it in, right Kyle? It helps when you plug it in. Of course, I'm going to struggle because I didn't get it ready. <laughs> That's what happens when you get too many appliances. But I use them all. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to put in the chicken. Now this is probably a little better than the chicken you might buy in the store because I cut off all the extra fat and all the, um, I cut out the tendons and the stuff that they might leave in. You never know. I like to know what I'm getting. So I tend to do it myself. <laughs> Alrighty. And there we go. Okay, I'm going to turn this this way. Okay, now we're going to add our meat to our pan. I do have a couple of sausages in there because chicken is very, very um, boring, tasteless. Can add turkey sausage. I want a little bit of flavor in there. And we're going to let this cook. Season a little bit.
we're just going to let this go a few minutes. Okay. Okay, we're going to check this squash because the oven is smoking. All right, now see it's doing the spaghetti thing. Okay. So you know what? I'm going to take it off now. Even though this thing says it needs to cook for 45 minutes because remember this is going to be, oh, that looks good. I bet you I am going to like this. We'll have to see. I'm going to set this back here for now because I need to take off my stuffing. All right, this mix that I'm making. This is a chicken sausage. Now, remember what I said about stuffings. If there's a lot of oil and grease, there's not. So I'm not going to worry about draining this off. I'm just going to take it off. Now this stuffing is extremely hot, so you can't really put any eggs or anything into it at this point. You need to let it cool off. Now before I get, wet, get rid of this blah, 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 frying pan, okay, I'm worried about the squash being plain. So in my refrigerator, let's take this off a second, I have some mushrooms, okay? So I'm going to slice these mushrooms, not really thin thin, a medium, you know, bitey, so you can take a bite out of them, okay? And what I'm going to do is, I also found in the refrigerator some marinara sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mushroom marinara. After we get taste that squash, when we're ready to put it with the peppers, if it's boring, it's getting some marinara and mushroom sauce because I can't eat boring. If I don't use it, that's okay. I can put some pasta together or just have it with something else. But I have a feeling we're going to need it. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the same pan, okay? You do want to season your mushrooms a little bit. Even though the sauce is seasoned, I want the mushrooms to be seasoned also. I'm not going to throw a ton of onions. I'm just going to use this little coolie piece here. And naturally, I always have an extra garlic hanging around. <laughs> All righty. Here we go. Throw in a little parsley. A little bit of garlic there. Now remember what I said about mushrooms, they will absorb all your oil. This is really dry, so I'm going to add a little more. This is really hot. Some pepper and some salt. And there we go. You see there's a spoon. I only got 10,000 and I got to look for a spoon. All right. This is a little dry. Watch out, Kyle. There we go. Add some more oil. Now, what I'm going to do with these mushrooms is I'm just going to toss them. And I'm going to deglaze them with a little bit of red wine just to kill this pan with a tish. This pan is on fire. And there we go. Oh, yeah, those are going to be happy mushrooms. <laughs> We're going to let those simmer down. Now remember what I said about mushrooms, they're going to extrude their juice when they start to cook. Alrighty, let me move this out of the way. Let's see the squash here. I'm going to let those mushrooms go a little bit. Oh yeah, this is fun. Look at it. I got to do this, Carl. I have to. Yeah, boring. No, but actually, my mother might be wrong. It's not horrible. It's actually pretty good. Oh, I didn't wash my fork. That's okay. Just don't tell anybody to cook out. <laughs> All righty. <clears throat> that actually tastes good. I'm surprised. Usually when my mother says something's horrible, she's right. All right, now let's add the marinara. This is going to add to it, though. I'll tell you that right now. Oops. I don't think it'll be overkill. I think it'll make it just right. All righty. We're just going to let this come to a simmer just a minute. 
And I'm gonna move this squash over here with the stuffing. We're gonna take a two minute break because I'm gonna put all the components together and we'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna clean our peppers. I'm gonna save these tops because the peppers freeze great. I'll probably chop these up and uh, save them for chili or something else I like peppers in. Some people use the caps to cover the peppers back up, kind of like when I did the tomato with the tomatoes. So we're gonna take out the seedy thing strips. You can cut these peppers in half. I may, some of the bigger ones, but the littler ones I won't, okay? I'm gonna use the colored peppers throughout too. I'm gonna clean our peppers out. Yep, that squash is pretty interesting. I like that squash. I don't know why I never tried it before. I'm not a squash person. I don't do butternut squash and I don't do uh, stuff that's grainy. Next, okay, so I'm gonna take this. Oh, I forgot my pan. Wait a minute. Oh, give me one second. I'm sorry. I like to spray. I don't want to use a lot of oil on the bottom. This is better for you. Now, what we're gonna do for everybody's benefit, different fork. Ow. Squash is still a little hot, so you don't want to burn yourself. I'm gonna take the squash and we're gonna scrape it all out. It is a little crunchy, but that's okay. We don't want to cook it all the way, right? No. Make sure we get it all. I don't want to leave any in there. Oops. Alrighty. Come on. What an uncooperative squash. I'll squash you. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. This is so neat. And she said it looks just like spaghetti. I thought she was crazy. But it does, doesn't it? I'll tell you one thing, this squash is hot, if anything else. Okay, okay. it's got a lot of squash in here. Boy, Lucia, I'm going to have to save you some of this, honey. There you go. All right, let's loosen up what I didn't loosen before. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to arrange this in a bed. See, it's a little crunchy. I got I to gotta fork that piece that didn't shred. <laughs> All right. Now I'm not gonna go heavy, heavy with this uh, sauce. I'm gonna go very, very lightly. First of all, I'm, I gotta just do this a little bit. I'm gonna drizzle, just drizzle, 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 drizzle. A little tiny bit, just a little tiny bit. Naturally, I don't really care so much about the salt and pepper at this time, but I am gonna put a little garlic. And it is kind of boring, so we're gonna add a little color, not much, there you go. And we're just gonna put this kind of in spots. Now this is a new recipe I'm trying right on TV. All right, this is a new experience for you and for me. Not the peppers though, I love peppers. Okay, do a little more mushrooms just to sort of have them in there. Now ordinarily, I would take a big fist of cheese at this point Oh, what the heck, we're almost done. We might as well use it all. Here we go. All right. And this is a disaster, so we'll get rid of this. Remove this. Remove this. 
let me see if my stuffing stuff is just about ready. It's still a little warm. So we'll be back in a minute or two. We're gonna do our stuffing now. I'm going to add one egg, okay? I'm going to add some pepperoni. I know you're saying this is supposed to be a diet. It is, but it doesn't mean you can't have a few pieces of pepperoni to punch in a little flavor there. Notice I'm counting them so that I know I don't put too many. I just want a little bit of pepperoni flavor in there. Okay. Okay. A little bit of Romano cheese. A little bit of mozzarella. I do use light cheeses. I'm not afraid of those. I will not use no fat. I'm afraid of those. Okay. Some breadcrumbs. All right, I'm not quite sure how many we're gonna use, but we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. Now this is another um, stuffing that I leave a little bit moist. Not real moist. Some people don't uh, cook their hamburger when they make a stuffed pepper. My nonna and my mother always, always, always cooked the meat when they stuffed the pepper. It doesn't have that tight, shrunken, meatball type uh, meatloaf look. It's a nice, loose, it's a good, wait till you see when they're finished, you're gonna love them. I gotta grab a little milk naturally, because I forgot it. Someday I'm gonna remember everything and you are all gonna be shocked. Okay, Ugh. Andy broke my milk pitcher. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, this is just a little bit too loose, I can already tell. Now as I'm working this with my hands, I'm taking the meat and I'm actually making it a little more, by a little smaller, because you know, the sausage doesn't always break up good, it stays in chunks. Now I have to get a little more breadcrumbs because I'm not happy with that, it's too wet. All right, all righty. Oops, my fingers are wet. Oh, please. There we go, that'll work just as good. Oh, this one just so happened to be flavored. I use plain flavin, doesn't matter to me because I just add whatever I think I need. Alrighty. This is a big mix. And I think I might grab another egg because I think I need it. It does give it a little bit of a lift, lightens it up. So let me just grab another egg. See, and this is what happens when I do a recipe for the first time as far as um, what I'm trying to do here. You gotta guess. So when people call me and ask me for my recipes, I laugh a little bit because it's hard to tell them. I cook by texture, by, see now that's perfect. That's how I want it. Not too wet, not too dry. That egg is gonna give the stuffing just the right lightness that I want. All right, now we're gonna move this cutting board use a spoon if you want to be neat, but you know I can't stand being neat, so. Alrighty, I'm gonna move these peppers over here. I am gonna cut these in half, because they're big. I don't want them that big. And maybe this one. That's a big one. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little peppers, and you just stuff. I think this is gonna be our last pepper. We're out of stuffing and we're out of room. 
And that's all she wrote. But that's all right. These little peppers don't have to worry. I'm going to use them for something else. Cut them, freeze them, save them for the next dish. We're going to pop these in the oven. I'm going to cover them with wax paper. I'm going to cover them with tin foil. I'm going to bake them at 350, about 20, 25 minutes. We'll be back then. All right, we're going to take our peppers and spaghetti squash out of the oven. I would say that it's been about 40 minutes, about that. A little more than a half an hour. Oh, yes. The best way to check a pepper is like this. Oh, wow, look at that. That came out really good. See, I'm going to take my fork over here. See, I like them a little bit. They're nice and soft, but they're not mushy. There's still a little bit of a, you know, consistency to them. They're not mushy. All right, we're going to try. I want a little pepper. I don't want to eat a lot. I'm going to take this one out, the orange one. We'll move this guy over here so we can see how this squash came out. I don't, oh, it looks pretty good. We'll see. Lucia, you might not have lied to me. Maybe good. Okay. We'll bring this over here, Kyle my nice little setting. I'm going to try some of this squash because I've never eaten it before, okay? Kyle's waving me on the other side. Obviously, he can't see me good enough. This is really hot. I don't want to fry myself. Hmm. It's good. It's not bad. Thank God we put the tomatoes on it because it would have been pretty boring. Let's try a little bit of this pepper here. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Pepper is excellent. I love stuffed peppers. Well, spaghetti squash, not too bad. Not my favorite. The peppers, excellent. Have fun making your peppers and spaghetti squash. Thank you for watching Tina Cooks. Hi, welcome to Tina Cooks. Today we're going to be cooking spaghetti squash. I never cooked spaghetti squash before. Hi, welcome to Tina Cooks. Today we're going to be doing spaghetti squash. This is the first time I've cooked spaghetti squash.